Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, you're gonna notice this sim looks a lot different than any of the other sims that I've been playing on my channel, and that's because I decided to start a new current household. Um, I haven't played a current household or actually just sat down and played the sims in a really long time outside of my LPs, and I just honestly haven't really had the time for it. Um, so I have a free weekend where I'm home alone and I'm like, yeah, sure, let's play some Sims. So what I've decided to do is uh, create this Sim. I've kind of had this Sim in my head for a while and decided to go with it. So let me show you around. I haven't actually played with her yet. I just got out of create a Sim, moved her into a house and decorate a little bit. So let's take a look. Um, her name is Carrie Knox. And my goal with this sim is I haven't really done anything with the celebrity or um, acting career, that kind of stuff, in a really, really long time. And I'm kind of feeling like playing through that again. So her name is Carrie Knox, and she has the star quality traits, night owl, clumsy, hopeless romantic, and charismatic. Her lifetime wish is to be a superstar actor, so she wants to reach level 10 in the film career track acting branch. Uh, her favorites are Electronica, Sushi, and Turquoise, and she is a Scorpio. So basically, her story is, we are in Ann Arbor. Um, she grew up in a small town and decided that she really, really wanted to, you know, be an actress, be famous, and experience that lifestyle. So she moved to Ann Arbor. Um, moved into the city and is hoping to pursue her dreams. She's not your typical um, actress kind of type. Yes, she does have star quality and she's charismatic, but she is very clumsy and awkward and she really just also wants to meet the love of her life and settle down, but she doesn't really know how she's going to handle those priorities in the big city. Um, so what she did is she moved into this grungy little apartment, and I'll show you where it is. Um, she definitely is not living large, so here is Ann Arbor, here is the downtown area, and she is living in these tiny little apartments by the Criminal Career and the Landfill. Um, so, you know, she's... She's definitely not living in a nice part of town, but she decided to, instead of pour all of her money into a nice apartment, she's going to live it up here. Uh, we're going to get her a roommate that will hopefully help pay for the bills a little bit. And right now she just really wants to focus on her work, so she's not really worried about it. She's, she's totally fine with grunging it out a little bit. So in typical fashion, not even a day into playing my game, I'm getting freaking robbed. So that's fun. Um, whoever this Joe Schmo Shane Mallory is, is trying to rob me right now. And I really don't appreciate it. So let's see if we can quickly, quickly get her to call the police. Oh, come on. You little pickle. Ugh. Oh, he likes us. How nice. Can we lock the door? Lock everybody. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sucker. That worked well. Let's unlock. <laughs> so, Carrie has to work in an hour. She just got robbed. Fun times. Appears like everyone likes her. Like everybody. Unfortunately, you were just. Oh, you little poo face. Oh, Carrie, honey, no. Let's uh get her a better outfit for work, because it's just not working out for me personally. Not digging it. So yeah, that's something I was not expecting. Uh, getting robbed. Thanks. Thanks, game. You sure know how to make me feel welcome in a new town. I'm gonna rob you. Should probably buy a burglar alarm. 
So what does a background, what should we have her wear to work? Um, I don't know. Something cute, but not like super, super stylish. Because she is still just a background extra. Eh. Okay, I mean, those will work. They're not perfect, but that'll work. Jarvis, what are you doing? Get off the table. Silly cat. Well, he's trying to mess with Kitty. She's just trying to sleep. What else is new? Stop eating the napkin, Jarvis. Cat's gone crazy. Alrighty. Let's uh, throw some shoes on you. There you go. That's it. Okay. So, yeah, I don't even know why I'm showing you this. But, uh, yeah, I'll be back again. Okay, so getting back into the game, guys, um, as you've seen from our screenshots, we have a, uh, a man in our life who isn't our main man. Um, let's see, so <laughs> we have Wesley, and then Carrie is also involved with her new roommate, Chris, and it kind of just happened. And now they're woohooing on their own. You know, I didn't tell them to. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, not really sure what's going on there. Hopefully, they're not trying for a baby. Uh, yeah, so Carrie is involved with two men. She knows it's wrong, but honestly... She's just having fun, she's young, she doesn't really, you know, she doesn't really know. She likes them both and can't really decide who she wants to be with. So what we're going to do is, um, she got invited to a party with somebody. Now she needs celebrity. Um, the problem with that is there's no celebrities currently in this town and... I don't really know. We right now are increasing her skill or career levels. Yeah, I don't really know how we gain celebrity without having any celebrities in the town. So I'm going to have her um, practice her speech for now. And okay, so we're going to go ahead and go over to our girlfriend's house. Um, what I did is I actually plopped a few girls down in town, some of which who were NPCs in town, so they didn't have a house. So I um, made one sim and then moved a couple of girlfriends in with her. Uh, that way we have some girls that we can hang out and go to the club with and just generally, you know, have some friends who actually live somewhere instead of just being the... Um, Oh, perfect. She's throwing a party tonight. So come to my party, Carrie. It's going to be awesome. Formal attire. So we're actually going to hang out at her house right now, and we will be there. Um, don't know what that was. So I put them in this townhouse right here, and let me take you inside. Er, what? Okay, go ahead and uh, visit 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 why can't why why can we not visit okay then well since we can't do that we're gonna go ahead and get our nails done at the spa alrighty <laughs> guys we are awake um, I'm having Carrie send some texts here and then she's gonna hop in the shower use the toilet clean up the huge. 
Apparently Chris is just making himself comfy in our bed. That's okay. He's mighty handsome. So first things first, um, where is that boy of ours? He lives here, but he's not home. Neither are the Brinkley ladies. I think what we're gonna do is see if we can get a hold of, where am I? Get a hold of Wesley and invite him out. Um, let's see, I think we'll go back to that hotel we were at. Yep, let's go here. Nothing like a little hotel action. Okay. So we'll go spend the day with him and then spend the evening with our ladies. Maybe we'll throw a little soiree at the apartment. Gotta get rid of all those newspapers too, they're freaking everywhere. Alright. That's a good turn around and face the right direction, huh? Oh, we're taking the subway. Taking the subway! Of course. Come on. Let's get to getting, girl. Alright, so we'll let this load up. Here's our little hotel motel. We're gonna meet up with our love, Wesley. Hopefully he hasn't caught on to our uh, scandalous ways. Get out of the bushes! Ay ay ay. So let's go ahead and go here. Let's go get a room. Sweet cheeks. And we will, um, hopefully he'll follow us here. Nope, he's not. Call over. I don't think we can hang holiday house lights. Okay. So, here we are, back at square one. Let's, uh, ask about his day and, uh, not confess to cheating. <laughs> That's for sure. Let's share secret and... Gossip. Tell him a joke. And then we will, uh, flirt. I'm actually quite surprised she hasn't been accused of cheating yet. This is probably the longest I've had a sim go without getting caught. It's quite nice. So let's, uh, go ahead and take a romantic photo together. And... Kiss. And let's go ahead and have us some woohoo! Once they're done there, I think we'll send them out to get a bite to eat at the restaurant. Have them eat with date. Kitty, why are you meowing? Those pajamas, dude! I thought I gave you better clothing. Apparently not. So, Carrie is being quite the player. Um, but hey, she's young. She's exploring all her options. You can't really blame her. So, they are gonna go grab a bite to eat, and then we are going to throw a little party with our lady friends. Where did Wesley go? Kitty, pipe down. You're being rude. She's probably hungry. She's always hungry. Okie dokie. So, they're chomping away at some delicious food. Is it really winter? A busboy tripped and knocked over his entire cart of desserts. We're gonna be kind. Take home that angel cake. Eat that for dessert. Alrighty, girl. Where are you? Where's your dude? Um... Where, where is he? 
I don't see him. Well, I guess we're gonna end the date and go home. Go home, invite our friends over, and then I'll probably end this current household for a while and uh, maybe do an update if I keep playing it. I don't know. I'm having fun. I'm having fun, but you never can tell. My okay. All right. She wants to stay up past her bedtime. He's just chilling in his underwear. Really? You know, woohoo again? Next. Mm -hmm. Well, all right. I mean, if that's what you want to do. <laughs> Jeez, these two are like rabbits. <laughs> all right, after that, we're going to throw a party. Just a little, little Sunday night party. Ain't no thing. Okay, so we want to invite, we'll invite Luke and Russell, Neil, let's see, we'll invite Candace, um, Faye Hartman is another one of the girls, Monique, and where is she? Where are you? I don't even remember your name. Mm, mm, mm. Hmm, she doesn't show up. I wonder. That's pretty strange. Don't know what that's about, but we'll just invite these people over and uh house party 9 p.m casual let's go perfect carrie why don't you put some clothes on that'd be pretty good uh, and use the bathroom I need to get like a radio or something probably be good um let's get this little record player and let's upgrade the tv because it's crap that's a tiny one look at this guy all right well there goes all of our money there is neil let's uh let's talk to neil um, friendly introduction. I don't know why we have to introduce ourselves. We already know him. But, you know. Ooh. Do we want to give her a third, <laughs> third love interest? Uh, let's ask about his career. And tell him a joke. Da -da, do a little celebrity gossip. Oh my. We have Luke and we have Russell bringing us jelly cubes. Ooh, Neil has a career in medicine. That's nice. Ooh, she finally got a star. So she is a level one celebrity. There is Monique, the ever so glamorous. Oh, she came. So yeah, her name is Tara. So let me, hopefully they'll change their clothes, but apparently not. Anyway, so we have Tara Brinkley. She is um, super fabulous. We have Faye Hartman, who is currently yawning. Uh, she is actually a co-worker. She wants to be a superstar actress. Um, where is Paige, or whatever her name is, Monique? And this is Monique. She is also a co-worker of ours. Um, so yeah. Oh. Okay, so Neil is in a relationship with Monique. Good to know. Um, now we know. Let's uh, go over here and chat with Monique. Oh, 
Dang, everyone's just like getting down. We don't want to dance together. Let's friendly chat. Oh, she's a level three celebrity. Some. Um, we'll talk to Faye another time. Oh, please tell me you're not gonna do it in my bed. Really, guys? Ah, you turn on autonomous woohoo and they just start going at it like crazy. Girl, come on. Come on, Faye. Ay, ay, ay. So let's chat with Monique here and discuss work. Gossip. And get to know. So, I mean, it seems like everyone's having a good time, if you know what I mean. Hopefully, our our buddy old pal uh, Wesley doesn't find out about this party. He does live with Neil, but hopefully he'll keep it on the down low for us. Oh, looks like everyone's leaving. Fine, leave my party. And uh, with that, guys, I think that's going to be the end of this current household. If you liked this current household, uh, let me know. I know it was kind of like scatterbrained all over the place. I've actually recorded this over like the course of three or four days. So um, keep that in mind. If you want to see more current households or you want to see more of this current household, let me know because I'm always looking to make you guys happy and... Obviously, I definitely want to start playing more Sims just for myself personally. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.